Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back to kick off round 3 for Group D and we have this quartet of matches for you all to tuck into. Right, at first we've got Morza sitting at 1-1 one one going up against 0-2 Gazmaniac. Then we have D-Team taking a crack at Ultimate Dino King. Following that, we have Diddy Darius trying to get out of the hole they're in, taking on Epic Brad before our main event of this session. It is 2-0 M-Steel going up against Dino fans. But first, we have got Morslet v Gazmaniac. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Morslet, we have got Gondwana Titan. Ah, now this is a good field if you're Gazmaniac. The Alpha Kent Resource will have terrain advantage. Morslet coming off the back of a stunning victory over Diddy Darius in round two. And let's be honest, they have, have by far the toughest start of any combatant in this tournament going up against two former champions in their first two matches. And they're currently sitting at one and one, so I think they would have taken that. Bit your hand off for that, to be honest. Right, in the blue corner for Gazmaniac, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus with terrain advantage. Gazmaniac not had the return they uh, hoped for so far, sitting at 0 and 2. Can they bounce back here? Well, they get the terrain advantage hit. Here comes the banana surprise. Whee! Ooh, some poison as well. Good start from Gazmaniac. Look at that. Ooh, but Morslet responds with a big aqua whip. Gonna whip that Kentrosaurus into the floor. Boosh. Look at that. Evening things up instantly. Big hit from Gondwana Titan. He may be a little fella, but don't underestimate him. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, and that's another hit from Gotten Titan. Oh, it's a power drain. Get my buttons ready. Wah, shuckies. Oh, I almost killed it. Morsa are picking up where they left off in round two by the looks of it. And that's another crit on the board. I mean, it's a bit overkill, but, you know, any hit will do. Right, for Gazmaniac's second dino, we got Torvasaurus. It could be a problem here. Although, it does have Burning Dash. So the type disadvantage will not apply until that Burning Dash gets triggered. A Burning Dash gets triggered after a time. Well, the Gotten Water type is on relatively low health anyway, so any hit from the Torosaurus is probably going to kill it. Oh, that's a big Dino Stuffer. Putting a stop to that crit. That would have been a massive hit from Wolves at Buck. Dino stuff is having none of it. Oh, that's a tie. That does trigger the burning dash, but the Torvasaurus gets off a big death grind. And that is going to be all she wrote for Gondwana Titan. Gazmaniac leveling the score. Now... The type of advantage is in Gazmaniac's favour because coming in next for Morza, we got Allosaurus. Now, again, this Allosaurus does have. Oh, wait, no, it's that's Ninja Attack. So, yeah, it's gonna have type disadvantage against Torvasaurus, but it only has one super move, so that's a saving grace. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, that's a tie. But this Allosaurus is more of a TIE Specialist. It is Charge Type, I believe. Ooh, Torvasaurus getting the next hit on the board, though. Gazmaniac taking the lead. Oh, I'm good. not going to be extending that lead. Another Dino Stuffer coming in here, putting a stop to that death grind. That would have been a big hit from Gazmaniac. But the Dino Stuffer put a stop to it. Another tie. Ooh, Allosaurus getting the next hit on the board. Boosh. 
Wow, this has been back and forth so far at this point. Neither side really get really given an inch. Ooh, but the Allosaurus getting consecutive hits, building up the tie bombs. Morsler extending their lead. Well, it's a slight lead, let's be honest. Oh, and down goes Torvosaurus. Allosaurus getting off the ninja attack. And Morsler's going to go 2-1 up. Oh no, down she goes. Okie dokie. Coming in third for Gazmaniac, we got Super Titanosaurus. Awaken mode on three. And if Gazmaniac wants to win this match, they're probably going to need that Awakened help. It's a dirty, it's a dirty, yeah. Ooh, that's a tie. Ties will suit the Allosaurus, though. Another tie. Oh, that's another hit from Allosaurus. The tie bomb coming in as well. Is this gonna be Morslet's victory? Right, that's one. Ooh, Titanosaurus gets a big hydro cut to you. That's going to cut Allosaurus down to size. And Gazmania, not done yet. Right, coming in third for Morsel, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. Well, the losing bonus point is already secured, but can they secure the victory? Remember, the Titanosaurus still has the Awaken mode as well, mind. That is a factor. Oh, that's a big crit, though. A banana surprise. Move removal effect takes place here. That is going to be game over for Gazmaniac. Oh, that's game over. I mean, that's twice, but it doesn't matter. Morsel's going to get the win. I mean, I don't even need to generate. And yeah, he gets, she gets the hit anyway. It's Morsel's victory. And they will go 2-1. Two, 2-1 one, two and one in this tournament. And Gazmaniac tasting the third defeat of the tournament. Well played, you little fella. <laughs> right, on the match two. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing D Team, we have got Super Chomp, Awaken Mode on three. Hmm, this is an interesting match. D Team got off, the, got the first win of the tournament against Gazmaniac in round two. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting match. I don't think this is going to be plain sailing for the Dino King. Right, in the blue corner for the Dino King, we've got Inosaurus. Ultima Dino King 2-0 so far, getting victories over Dino fans and Morslet. Will they make it three out of three? Hmm. The 2 and 0, but it's been a stuttery 2 and 0. Oh, that's not a good start. That's a crit. That's a big Thunder Bazooka right into Ainiosaurus' face. That's why his horn's bent. Because <laughs> they got hit by Chomp in a fight. <laughs> yeah, because the horns are, like, flexible. Ooh, but that's a good response there. Getting the hit on the board. Not much of a hit, but it's a hit. Oh, that's a tie. Now, this Ainiosaurus is more of a tie specialist. But there's another hit. Right. Awaken time. Well, so far, it's 2-1 in terms of hits to Ultimate Dino King, but the Trice Chomp did get that big Thunder Bazooka, and that is the difference. Oh, doesn't get the hit with the Awakened Mode. Big hit from Ainiosaurus.
But again, you know, you look at that. Three hits from Ionosaurus to one from Chomp. But, you know, we're level packing. But it is Ultimate getting the hits in this match as Chomp goes down. Dino Slash. Right. Coming in next for D-Team, we've got Ace Dino Tactor. Well, this Dino was responsible for D-Team's victory in round two. And I will say, if it can get to the Maya, you know, D-Team has a really good opportunity to win. But, oh, the Dino King looking good in this match so far. Landing, not big hits, but getting hits. You know, D-Team, even though they're losing, well, they've leveled the score here, but they've done a good job there of nullifying the Ionosaurus' crits. Right, coming in next for Ultimate Dino King, we've got Satiosaurus. Now, don't underestimate this, this, uh, well, I say little fella, but he's a big fella. <laughs> if it gets it gets that Futaba Cannon going with the Willpower buff, it can do a lot of damage. So DT will have to be careful here, will have to be very wary of the ties. Oh, but look at this! Well, it's three hits, four hits to three in Ultimate's favour, but it is D-Team in the lead. Oh, that's a tie. Here comes the Sonic Blast. Ah, if you're gonna go for tie, Satyosaurus, you're gonna pay the price. Good counter there from DT. Oh, that's a crit from D-Team. And now, well, Ultimate Dino King can be flirting with disaster here. The Dino Tector is getting full. And now he's got tight disadvantage to deal with with this Myasaurus. I think this is going to be D-Team's victory. I say, I think they've only, they've had four hits apiece in this match. But D-Team's hits have been so much more devastating. And I think that's been the difference. <laughs> we'll see what, how, what happens here. Oh, the crit! That's going to fill up the Dino Tector. Is it going to be D-Team's victory? It's Dino Tector time. And based on this match's momentum, you suspect a bonus point victory is coming for D-Team. Oh, oh. Not yet. It's a tie. Oh, there it is! Ultimate Wind! And Ultimate Dino King is going down in this match! And D-Team's gonna get another bonus point victory, which in fact might put them top of this group. Blowing the Myasaur away! Ace Dino Tector doing it yet again! And what a win for D-Team! Well, that was, uh... Interesting, wasn't it? Okie dokie, on to match number three. Right then, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, we have got a Staracosaurus. Well, Diddy Darius in the very unfamiliar position of being 0-2 in this tournament. You do feel it's a big game for them to get right back in this group state, especially given the uh, previous results as well in this video. But, in the blue corner for Epic Brad, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus with terrain advantage. So that means that Epic Brad will get the first shot in this match, and it'll be a rock hit. Epic Brad 1-1 one one so far, suffering defeat last time out against M Steel before after defeating um, D Team in round one. Okay, there's a terrain hit. But yeah, can Diddy Darius finally get off the mark in this tournament? Oh, there's a first shot, there's a first hit there. Evening things up, getting the defense boost going. Oh, 
Das ist tight. Oh, that's another hit from Storakosaurus. This is a steady start from Diddy Darius. Well, to be honest, in the first two matches they've had good starts. It's just the finish that they've had problems with. <laughs> But, you know, they're keeping up their good start. Here, another hit from Strachosaurus with his stubby little tail. And down goes Kazmasaurus. And so far, Epic Brad hasn't been able to land a shot. Well, except for the terrain advantage shot. That's been about it. Alpha Slash. Right. Coming in next for Epic Brad, we have got Spiny Tector. Now, Spiny Tector here, even though it has the type disadvantage, that might help him out. If he can get some hits, he can fill up the Dino Tector, we might see Ultimate Water in this match. Pew. Although, if Strachosaurus continues to get hits, then it's not looking good for Epic Brad. Okay, there's a tie. Another tie. Oh, that's going to be a big hit from Diddy Darius off the Thunder Bazooka as well. Massive hit from Strachosaurus. Yeah, look at that. That's not what Epic Brad wanted, but exactly what you want if you're Diddy Darius. Okay, here's a hit from the Spiny. But yeah, look at. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, bless him. But, you know, hey, the Dino Tech is filling up. You've got the Shockwave effect, which means that you'll be going for a crit. Will you get that crit? Sorry, Diddy Darius, you can't go Rock. But you can go Scissors. And our bar is filling up. Can Spiny survive, though? The answer to that is yes. And he's going to do better than survive. Because I think this Futaba Cannon is going to be lethal for Strachosaurus. I think. Only just though, but look at that. The bar is filling up. The bar is full. Right, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we got Stegosaurus. Well, it might be a short stay for Stegosaurus if that Ultimate Water activates. Although, I believe Ultimate Water is not a one hit KO. So do bear that in mind. So even if this Steg gets hit, I think it will survive. I think it's the Spectral moves and the Omega moves that one shot. Right, here we go. Could be a big moment in the match here. If Epic Brad can get this hit, he'll be right back in this contest. But if Diddy Darius can get this hit, well then, things looking good for Diddy. Oh, he doesn't get the hit. Diddy Darius gets the big hit there, and that's going to be all she wrote for Spiny and a big opportunity missed for Epic Brad. How costly could that have been? Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we've got Ferrazinosaurus. Well, a chance missed there big time. But this Ferrazinosaurus can still pull it back for Epic Brad. So hope is not all lost. You do feel, is that the turning point? Is that the killer moment there that secures this, the secures a win for Diddy Darius? Oh, it's a crit. And this Steg is Hunter type as well. So it moves. Oh, wow, there's a lot of damage. That's without Hunter type. And it's buffed up with attack power as well. Is Diddy Darius finally going to get off the mark? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Diddy Darius' victory. On the third time of Ashton, they finally get their first win of the tournament. Oh, look, he tried to grab it with his claws. And, oh, wow, it killed it. And, yeah, no, no ultimate walk that proved costly in the end for Epic Brad. And it is Diddy Darius' victory. Finally, getting off the mark. Now then. On to our main event of this session. And what a main event it promises to be. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena again. Okay, we don't have Alpha Dinosaurs in this matchup, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, 
In the right corner for M Steel, we have got Super Tarbosaur in Awaken Mode on free. M Steel enjoying a very good debut so far in this tournament. Definitely up there among one of the best newcomers that we've seen. Right, in the blue corner representing Dino fans, we got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. So you know what that means. We're gonna be see we might be seeing some crits. Now Dino fans, one and one in so far in this tournament, got the win over the Gazmaniac in round one before falling to a defeat against Ultimate Dino King in round two. What will their fortunes be this time? Right, first things first, let's get those crits up on the board. Oh, not this time. Not this time. That's one. That's one. Right, crit number two. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's rough. <laughs> that's quite rough there from uh, M Steel. Oh. It's a tie. Another tie. Wow, we've had all rocks so far. Oh, there we go. And of course it's M-Steel that gets the hit. <laughs> Dino fans, too obsession that we've getting crits has cost them there. Well, that's a risk you can take sometimes with Blitz type. Right, coming in next for Dino fans, we've got Ceratosaurus. The little ratty thing is going to have to pull its weight here. Yeah, because this has been a strong start from M-Steel so far. And they still have the Awaken mode to use as well. And now they got type advantage. Things looking really promising for M Steel early on. Oh, that crit is exactly what Dino fans needed, though. Big shot from Ceratosaurus. But. Elemental Fusion! Oh, that's a crit as well! That's big, big damage! Oh, not really. I was expecting a bit more, to be honest. But yes, like, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still a massive hit from Torbosaurus. And essentially, Dino Fans is getting a taste of their own medicine. And I bet it tastes bitter. Well, spicy, I should say. But look at this from, from M-Steel. Are they going to make it free out of free? Oh, for Slash. Right, coming in third for Dino Fans, we've got Tank. I don't think really not going well for them in this main event. No blitz effect, no blitz hits. Got hit by the Awakened Tarbosaurus. All the big moments have gone against Dino fans in this match, but can they pull it back with Tank? It's going to be a big ask, but it's doable. But they need to get past this Tarbosaurus first. And they do. Right, coming in next for M Steel, we got Penticeratops. Now, Tank will have type advantage over this Penticeratops. That could be helpful for Dino fans here, especially since this Penticeratops does have all lightning moves. So as long as they can avoid getting hit for the crit, you know, Dino fans can claw their way back in this contest, definitely. But they do need to start getting hits on the board and need them quick. Okay, let's see how much damage this actually does. Yeah, look at that. The resilience of Tank there. As long as they can avoid getting hit by crits. Boosh. Although, ties will help M-Steel big time. And that will help Dino fans big time. A recovery to come as well. Big crit that could be. Oh, come on. The counter blitz getting triggered. <laughs> Oh, hello, we got an Earth Barrier. That will definitely help. Now, I think Counter Blitz does get rid of the Earth Barrier, though, so. Oh, he gets the hit, but Earth Counter Blitz is going to happen. That's going to get rid of the Earth Barrier, I think. Good response from M Steel. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, it's a tag team. How massive could that be? A massive tag team from Dino Fans is going to stop Pentaceratops getting that crit. 
Well, land in the damage anyway. Oh, bless the Papasaurus. Could that be a big moment in the match? Well, he's going for another crit, so... Not getting it this time, no? Oh! Tank's not having any of it. A recovery to come as well. But that will be it in terms of recovering. And really? Another counter blitz? I know I got it in the like a video, but my friggin' Rhinoceratops on twice the technique this thing has. It's rubbish! <laughs> oh, that's a crit anyway! That's gonna be curtains for Tank, I think. The massive hit that Ensteel's been looking for. And they finally get it. And an electric charge to come as well. But they're not going to need it at this point. Because they're one hit away from winning anyway. The tie. That won't be enough for Lethal. Can they get the bonus point? No. No bonus point for them still here. As Penticeratops goes down. Well, Dino fans have showed a late fight back, but I fear it is too little too late. Coming in third for M Steel, we got Ampelosaurus. Hmm, missed opportunity for the bonus point there, but they're probably going to win anyway. But you never know how crucial that missed bonus point could become the end game. Oh, another hit from Tank. Can Dino fans secure the losing bonus point? I mean, this is going to do nothing because Tank will die anyway. Oh, hello. Another hit from Tank. Well, that secures the losing bonus point. And yet, yeah, there it is. M Steel's victory. Dino fan does salvage the losing bonus point, but it is M Steel taking the spoils, going free and oh. And well, um, yeah, I think a lot of the big moments in the match went M Steel's way, but Dino fans did manage to salvage a losing bonus point, so we'll give them credit for that. But yeah, M Steel's victory, and they're going free and oh. Right, let's have a look at our table, and we can end the session. Wow, Group D really opening up. M Steel topping it at 10 points with three out of three victories. Then we have D Team getting two bonus point wins on eight points. Ultimate Dino King sitting on seven points. Moors look up in fourth on six points. Then we have Diddy Darius and Dino Fans level on four points. Epic Brad on three and Gaz Maniac still yet to get off the mark. Well, round four is going to be interesting for this group, isn't it? You'll have to wait a while till that happens. Right, we're going to end the session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.